So my name is Soma, Soma Kishore Parthasarthi, and I'm here representing the Mahila Kisan Adhikar Manj, which is the forum of women farmers. It's a national le level forum. We have a presence in 22 states around the country. Our forum is pretty new. It's about four years now. And it's an alliance building forum to advocate for women's land rights, as well as to enable women to have a voice in policy and in entitlements for women farmers. And our understanding of women farmers is not just in agriculture, but we are working with women farmers in different sectors, animal husbandry, pastoralism, forestry, um, fisheries, across the sectors to claim land rights as well as to claim entitlements as farmers. So, and we've also uh, made a strong plea for women's voices to be represented in policy making from the ground level upward at national level. Yeah? Yeah, that's what I and uh, you'll be wondering what we are doing at this conference. So our role here is really to represent women's issues, to bring up issues that are of concern to women, as well as issues that have created an adverse impact on women. So when we are talking about land and development conference, we're also looking at the kind of development that we want. And what is it that represent marginalized women farmers' interests? For instance, yesterday at the session, I spoke about the commons and how those are integral to the survival of and the livelihoods of marginalized women in forests, in fodder, for fodder, for food, as well as for access for other activities. And we find that with the kind of development policies we have in the country today, uh, the land rights are getting more and more restricted as the commons, which is really now seen as an area of eminent domain by the state, are getting more and more enclosed and restricted and diverted to industrial use, to mining, to other activities. In fact, even the forests, with the uh, footprint of the forest department becoming more and more authoritarian with the kind of laws that we have coming in now, uh, the progressive legislations of 2006, which was the Forest Rights Act, uh, stands under threat of being subverted with the new CAMPA, the, co uh, the forest diversion legislation, which has just been introduced. It stands the threat of actually being uh, subverted because this new legislation actually creates a centralized authority for diversion of forest lands, whereas the Forest Rights Act try to create a democratized, decentralized governance structure for forest rights claims to be recognized by those who've been living in the forest areas for centuries. For those who have lived off the land all their lives are in subsistence agriculture. It, there are millions of families in India. In fact, more than 40% of our population are poor, and many of those, most of those, are subsistence farmers. And if they don't have access to the commons for their fuel, fodder, water, food rights, then where do they go? Because the income wages are not really going to be adequate to sub uh, enable them to have these subsistence needs. So they're going into casualization, alienation from the land where they live, and into distress migration, into jobs that really give them nothing, jobs that are regular, irregular and in urban milieus which are really not ad addressing the kind of life, livelihoods, identity and cultures that they come from. So it's really di uh, displacing people and women are at the bottom of this whole pyramid and are the ones who are having to subsist without any kind of support structures. So our effort here is to bring those voices into the discourse so that policy starts heeding more effectively the needs of such women and takes that into account when we are discussing land lease so that women and women's groups get rights to such land so that they take women's, um, women's voices into policy measures that are actually going to create greater entitlement for women, for instance, in inheritance rights or for agricultural land the Hindu Succession Act has created a space, but its implementation has um, a long way to go. What about the customary rights? What about women's voices within the customary practices and getting women into spaces of decision making around land and development and the kind of development that can be sustainable? Our goal is sustainable development, 
We want to work with the government on this, but the women's voices need to be heard for that change to happen and for that change to be inclusive. Thank you so much.